Oh, I didn't see that. Was it the whole offense? Might have been a certain position group. <laughs> you, you know, if a coach doesn't like what happened, he'll keep track of things during practice. Instead of doing the discipline during practice, it slows things down. He'll just got somebody to keep notes, and then after practice, they might get a little discipline. That's are you, typical. Are you, are you happy with the offense's execution practice so far? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's hard to tell with against the scout team. I mean, there's a big difference between their, the scout team and Clemson's defense or anybody's defense for that matter. How's Coach Malik looking? What? How's Malik looking? It's hard. I don't know. If good. Malik, Malik had a good day. He's doing what he's been doing all season long in practice. Coach, obviously Moore is on the line with this game, but your experience of playing for a conference championship, does that help at all? And do you relay anything to your players of the magnitude of the game? Uh, not really. I think they understand the magnitude of the game. And they are, I, what I, my experience is, you don't have to do a lot of motivating in a game like this. You just got to teach and make sure everybody knows what to do and make sure they're ready to um, you know, play the way that you're, you're coaching them to play. I mean, um, I, I like these games. I like games like this because you don't have to sit there and think about, you know, what do I need to say to make sure of this or make sure of that. It, they'll be ready. Did you, ever talk, did you talk about the ranking at all that came out last night? No. Never mentioned rankings with the team. Mark, what, what kind of year uh, Jeff Thomas has had? And how far from the ceiling is oh, there for him? Yeah, I mean, Jeff, I mean all, all true freshmen, uh, rarely do they have a year like an Amon. But, uh, you know, those guys, the, the freshmen that are playing right now, true freshmen, a year from now, they'll, they'll be so much better at what they do. But he, he helped us win. He made plays for us. He's you know, been starting for us uh, the last few games. And after watching DJ Dallas, do you have any feel for where he's the best long-term running back receiver or just a weapon to yeah. be both? This is perhaps. my last question. Um, DJ has got enough versatility where we'll, we'll figure out ways to use him because he's he, he's going to probably live in the running back slot, but we'll find ways to use him as a receiver uh, in, that, in the Wildcat. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. Thank you. Excuse me.